Is it possible to find the perfect foundation at the drugstore for dry mature skin? I'm here to tell you that I think it is. Hi YouTube family, we are going to be getting into that very topic today. I have 10 foundations in front of me and I am going to go from my least favorite, not necessarily that it's a bad foundation because I wouldn't have picked all 10 of these if they hadn't have worked for me. Believe me, there was some that went in the junk pile, but these 10 are ones that I found that I really do enjoy and I'm gonna rank them from number 10 up to my number one spot. So let's get into that right now. All right, number 10 is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation to wear if you want that glowy look to your skin. And that is what's in right now, healthy skin that looks like it is skin without looking like it's made up. And I can truly say that almost all of these do that. So this one is a medium coverage foundation for me. It can be built up slightly, but I did find that if I built it up too much, I was gonna get just a little bit of uh, breakthrough, a little bit throughout the day. So I would say that if you are somebody that's looking for just medium, buildable coverage, slightly buildable coverage, this is a really good one. It does also make the claim that it is very long lasting. I will tell you that I got about 10 hours out of it before I had any breakthrough. So I do believe that it is very long lasting. It claims to have 24 hour wear. I don't believe that's that it really is that long of wear. And ever since it was released a couple of years ago, I really have enjoyed using it on my skin. And the more my skin gets dry in this climate, I'm finding that this is a really good one to help keep it hydrated throughout the day. So that is one that I wear when I don't need a ton of coverage, but this one by Makeup Revolution is one that I wear when I want more coverage, but this is the new Conceal and Hydrate Foundation from Makeup Revolution. This one I really, really love for how hydrating it is and also for how good the coverage is on it. You know what else I like about it is they they put the pump in there instead of the doe foot from the original foundation they had. So you can build this one up. It will keep you hydrated throughout the day. So you do have a little bit more of a natural glow about you, which I love for my dry skin as well. This one did not oxidize oxidize at all and actually the l'oreal didn't either the l'oreal didn't either so i just want to make sure that i told you that i didn't notice a fragrance on this one and the l'oreal does have a slight fragrance on it i can't really even put my finger on what it is it's not overwhelming though and i don't notice it through the day so i want to make sure that i tell you guys about any fragrance that there might be as well now the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, everybody raves about this one and everybody loves this one and there's a reason. I have my cap on backwards, so there, that looks prettier. <laughs> It does come with a pump and this is medium buildable coverage so I can get high coverage out of it if I need to on any given day. And this one will definitely give you that glowy finish that you're looking for if you have dry skin. But at the same time, it doesn't look greasy. It doesn't break through for me until about hour 12 or beyond. So this one is super long wearing as well. This one looks like skin. It has a really natural finish to it. So I really have been enjoying this one. It doesn't have a fragrance either, and it doesn't oxidize at all that I have noticed. In the number seven spot, I'm putting two together. These are from Maybelline. One is the Dewy and Smooth, and the other one is the Matte and Poreless from them. If you mix these two together, you have magic <laughs> in a foundation. I like both of them on their own, but when I put them together, I found that I liked them so much better. Mixing them together, not only does it kind of tame down the dewiness of this one, which I like, but it seemed to be just a little bit too dewy, but this one that is matte, it's not one that really sets down to where it's a matte finish where you just look like, you know, you have no life to your skin at all. It's a nice matte finish. So when you put the two together, 
it just seems to be really, really good. But I'm so glad that I actually mixed these two together because they became a foundation that was just something that was a little bit extra for me. So I really love the two together. And what's great about it is right now, I, I don't know about at everybody else's Walmart, but at my Walmart, these were only about $5. So you are not breaking the bank when you get both of these together. You're still at only $10, which is cheaper than some of these that I'm talking about here. There is a little tiny bit of fresh fragrance in these that smells a little tiny bit like powder but it doesn't bother me and it goes away very quickly I don't notice it throughout the day or anything like that this did oxidize on me like just a, like a half a shade so when I was working with this and I got it to the lighter color it was actually quite perfect but again the colors together they worked out really good because even though there was that tiny factor of oxidation it was still light enough that it didn't you know look orange on me or anything like that so the two together were really good by the way while we're right here I'm going to mention this mix in medium um, if you have a problem with oxidation on your foundations, you might look into trying some of the blue LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Medium because what that will do is that will take that orange color down or that yellow color down and it will be more along the lines of a neutral to cool if you pull that way. So if you're finding that any foundation you have will oxidize on you, this is a really great way to go to be able to save your money from buying another foundation and you just, you know, buy something like this and then you can use it on all your foundations. Next up in the number six position is from Rimmel. This is the Lasting Breathable Foundation. This came out a long time ago, and this is my second one. I actually got this one in a better color this time, so I was really glad, but there's a drawback to these. I have two of these in this lineup, and that is that they have this doe foot applicator on there. I know that they probably were thinking they were doing something good, I don't know, but I don't like that. For one, I don't feel like I get the right amount out each time, and for two, I always feel like I'm digging and digging and digging if I need more coverage. Okay, that being said, put that aside. This is one of the nicest foundations that I have found for it being one that will not clog pores. It will not, you know, settle into your pores and make you look like you have texture. This is just a really, really good foundation and it's not very expensive. No oxidation there. I haven't noticed any sort of a scent. Let me smell. Nope, I'm not noticing any fragrance at all. I'm not very sensitive to fragrance. So if you get one of these and it does have a little bit, forgive me because I'm not one that is bothered by that and my nose isn't that great. So I, I really apologize if you get one that is, but I don't think there is any sort of a fragrance in this. I love the finish on this. It's just smooth and it doesn't really have like a glowy finish on it. It has more of just a natural satin finish on it, which I really think is great about this foundation. So the only thing I would change is the application on this. Oh, it does say that it is 25 hour wear. I don't wear my foundations for 25 hours, so I couldn't tell you if that's the case or not, but I do know that this is one that never, I never have to retouch. I never have any break apart on it. When I look in the mirror at the end of the end of the day, I'm going to look pretty close to the same as before. You guys know that when you go throughout your day, you're not going to look exactly like you did when you very first put on your foundation, but it does have a really pretty finish to it that lasts all day long. So I hope that's helpful. And the number five is a new one to me this year, and that is the Revlon Candid Natural Finish Foundation. This one is all about anti-pollution, antioxidant, all of, all of that kind of stuff. And I think that is a really great concept to put in any skincare because we have free radicals all the time bombarding our skin and it can really age us and we don't realize how much it can. I do like that this one comes in a tube and that there's a pump on the end of there. I do like that a lot. I like that I was able to find my color in there. By the way, I will make sure that I list all the colors too. You're gonna see color all around here. Now some of these are not my perfect color just simply because it's hard. It's really hard to find your, your perfect color, but this one really did seem to do the job well. It didn't lean too cool. It didn't lean too warm. It just 
blended in like a dream and I really liked it. Now the natural finish on this, I would say absolutely it is a natural finish. It's not dewy, it's not setting down a hard mat or anything like that, it just is natural. I did notice on about our, I would say about our 10, some breakthrough through here and around my nose where I get a little bit oily throughout the day. But other than that, this is a really great foundation if you're looking for something that looks really natural on the skin. This is a medium, also medium coverage foundation, but this one is really easily built up and it takes care of any blemishes or dark spots that you have and it will cover those really well for you. So this one is one that I really like. It's higher up there in the ranking because of its finish, no oxidation on it. No fragrance at all on it. I don't smell any little thing on it at all. Future me here, you guys. This is the second time this month that I have had some video corrupted. I think I need a new SD card or something. But anyway, we're going to continue on. I do want to tell you at this point in the video that how I put my foundation on is only with a dampened beauty blender. And the reason that I chose to do that is because I can spray that beauty blender with maybe some primer spray or some fixing spray and then as I bounce it around it's actually kind of setting itself so I don't have to use so much powder and the other thing it does is it shears it out just a little bit so if I need more later I can build it up and get more but the beginning of it I like it to be a little bit sheer instead of as much as you would get with a brush or with your fingers so just FYI on that one all right we're moving into number four and this is from Koki Cosmetics this is the full coverage foundation from them Okay, this foundation and the other three that you're about to see, it was so hard for me to rank them this way because I feel like any from this point are just perfection almost on the skin and the way that they perform. This foundation is a full coverage foundation. It is a demi matte, um, what I get with it. It's not like dries down to a complete matte, but it is a demi matte. It does not dry out my skin. It is a little bit on the thicker side, I would say. Um, it's not a really thin foundation. So definitely 100% full coverage. I appreciate that it is, because when I get it on my skin, it doesn't look like that, if, if that makes any sense. But I really think that this is a spectacular formula, no oxidation, it, it does have a slight fragrance and I can't put my finger on it, what it is, you guys. You know how the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus smelled like paint? This kind of has just a slight, slight, I don't even want to say that because that's going to turn you guys off of it and it's such a good foundation. So it does have a slight fragrance to it just so you know it's not 100% fragrance free but the way that it performs and it will last all day. It won't budge. It's not going nowhere. So this is so good. I really would highly recommend it to you guys. Okay in my number three spot again this is so hard to choose but I'll tell you why this ranked number three. It's this silly doe foot applicator. This is from Physicians Formula and this is the healthy foundation now this is specifically my go-to on days when i feel like my skin is just parched this foundation is just so dewy and pretty on the skin but without being shiny and the finish is just perfect on it and then it also lasts all day if you want it to be full coverage it can be full coverage you can also thin it out if you want a little bit more of a natural look and i just think that it is something special in a jar and it also has the claim of being brightening and I do feel that when you put it on and maybe that's the word for it is brightening instead of the glow it doesn't really give you a glow it just makes your skin look a little bit brighter than it normally is and again no oxidation tiny bit of fragrance I think that it smells just a little bit like vanilla I don't know, maybe caramel, I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry, I don't know, but it doesn't have enough fragrance that it bothers me, but um, it does have an SPF of 20, I do not rely on any SPF that isn't in a foundation for it to keep my skin from getting the UV rays, so I do wear a separate um, SPF, so just a side note, but this is just beautiful it's beautiful in the way it performs and everything about it i would highly recommend it the only thing i would change is this silly doe foot applicator i just think that that is 
not a good way to deliver foundations, but beyond that, it is a fantastic foundation. All right, in the number two spot, honestly, you guys, I cannot believe this foundation is $5. And as soon as I say that, you're gonna know this is the Believe Beauty at Dollar General foundation that everybody found and they were like blown away and I am not kidding you guys, you will be blown away by this. It is again a natural finish, doesn't have a lot of glow to it or anything like that, but it doesn't dry me out and it just covers like a dream, sets down just a beautiful canvas. I don't feel any texture with it ever. I just, I still cannot believe that this is $5. It's got a glass bottle and a pump with the gold on it. And then even the lid looks luxe. They've done a little geometric design right here. And so unbelievable. Believe me, this is the Believe Beauty Foundation. It really is good foundation and lasts all day, completely lasts all day without any oxidation. I cannot remember if there's a fragrance or not. So let me put a little bit on here. No fragrance, no fragrance at all, absolutely none. So that's a plus. So this one for me had to be either in the number one or the number two spot because it is just so good, just that good. Okay, you guys, in the number one, this is a controversial foundation. I will tell you why in a second, but this is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass All-Day Wear Foundation. Claims to be 24-hour wear, sweat-proof and waterproof, and I adore this foundation you guys okay i have it on today it is one coat you're done it does all of my dark spots that i have on the side of my face from having age spots to having any scarring anything like that it evens out my texture it doesn't show large pores okay let me tell you why it's controversial right now Soap and Glory is the parent company or a company over top of CYO. And we all know that CYO got discontinued and then this foundation got released right around the same time. And there are a lot of people, influencers, saying that the CYO foundation and the Soap and Glory foundation have the exact same ingredients and all they did was take the CYO um, formula and put it in the Soap and Glory glory bottle and then charge more for it. I don't know if that's true or not. I, you know, I have, you know, no idea. I haven't heard anything other than the rumors. If that's the case, it's pretty crummy that they did that. I know that the CYO foundation, I think it had a glass bottle. This one is plastic, but I do like that this one does have the suction that goes up. So you're going to get all of your foundation out of here. This color for me is absolutely my perfect, perfect color. This just makes my skin look absolutely flawless. And all of these foundations, you will get that to an extent, but the wear time on this one is absolutely fantastic and it doesn't dry me out. Now, I will say that I believe their claims about it probably being 24 hours if I was to wear it that long. I know that I have worn this upwards of 14, 15 hours before I actually took it off and I felt like it was still really nice. Now, again, I'm gonna say that there is no foundation you're gonna put on your face that you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna have your makeup look exactly the same at the end of the day because Things just happen. I, I don't know, I have menopause hormonal power surges and you know, sometimes it breaks through. I can't do anything about that, but this one is really good for that. You know, if you sweat or if you do get that, you know, really hot flash and it's just a really bad one, I feel like it just holds up through that. So I can't recommend this one enough, but like I said, again, the top four, they really truly are very interchangeable depending on what finish you want. I would say this one is a demi matte finish again, and the coverage is absolutely there. You can share this out a little bit if you wanted to. You could put a little primer in it or a little moisturizer in it and shear it out. It would be great if you, know, if you find that you don't like the full coverage on it, but it just looks so pretty on the skin. I absolutely love it. So that is it for my top 10 foundations from the drugstore. 
Again, I apologize for switching people on you there in the midstream. <laughs> I'm gonna figure that out, I promise you. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If there is a foundation that you are using from the drugstore or actually anywhere else, I don't care what your Holy Grail foundation is, even if it's high-end or luxury, I would love to hear that because I know that so many people find so many different foundations work for them and I think that's great that we have so many to choose from. I would love to hear that from you and who knows, I might need to try one or two or three of them for myself. So thank you so much for being a part of my video today. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. That really does help me out. I hope you're all having a fantastic week or weekend wherever this video does hit you. Love you so very much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.